it's better if they don't see you. Right. How, is that a good transmitter thing then? We've got a good distance on that. Yeah, this radio mic will go for like yonks. Yonks away. Cool, man. Um, I'm doing a social experiment thing. Um, Brilliant. <laughs> nice. You're so game. Yeah. You're so much more game than I am. You're my first person, and this month um, yeah. I've been asked to um, stop someone in the street. Okay. You're literally the first person. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Okay. <laughs> um, and I've got to share something personal. Okay. And then only if you want to, you've got no obligation at all, really. You don't oh. have to do anything. Or okay. You can walk off at any point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, those people here and put... <laughs> so the annoying thing is that the batteries on my radio mic ran out um, while we were filming this. Um, so although the conversation continued for about 10 minutes, um, None of it was captured in sound, only picture. Um, one thing I do need to share now is that I'm not going to repeat stuff. You can ask me to do absolutely anything, and honestly I would love your ideas to be much less tame. I want you to think of much bigger, grander, more crazy, ridiculous, inspiring ideas for things for me to do from now on, um, because right now I'm there's a few things that I like aspects of the suggestions so far, but I know you can do so much better, and you do too. So come on, give me some serious stuff to work with here. Stuff that will be unforgettable, stuff that will make the news, big, big things. Things that you would love to do if you had the time, the space, the bravery, the things that you're giving me the courage to do. Uh, so, um, I'm really sorry for um, being so late with this, especially considering that I really promised that I wouldn't be so late um, with the previous video. Um, over Christmas and with um, moving house and various different things, uh, a, lot of, a lot of things um, made me kind of late with this video. But um, I don't want to miss out on any opportunities for you to have a say in what I do. So this is December's video. Uh, next up, you're going to decide what I did last month, which obviously I'm going to have to do this month. And then uh, before February is out, you'll get a chance to decide what I do um, just before we hit March then obviously I'll, I'll start a video for March as well. So it's going to be a bit mad, a bit packed. I'm going to do a quick turnaround on these ones. Um, and, and thank you for staying tuned and, and share these videos, please. Will Barkley, your request was that I try something new and practice it. Um, I thought about this for a while. I thought, what should I try that's new. I feel like I'm a person who quite often tries new things um, but I thought of something that's really disruptive to me, something that's not what I normally do um, and actually I thought shit like not taking so much on is actually that feels game changing for me something really quite difficult in a way to do um, to turn down an opportunity and so I, I, I practiced doing that. Um, in my last video I talked about We the Uncivilized which is an amazing project but um, somewhere deep inside me I've, I've realized you know I, I really want to do less editing I want to do less sitting at computers um, and, and less editing and although this project was awesome it was also very very open-ended and could take a huge amount of time uh, logistically there was a lot to work through um, and I dropped the project you know I contacted Pete and Lily and we're on good terms but um, now they have another editor so I've, I've dropped that project I fully support what they're doing but I think they found someone who's in a better position in their life to, to do it and for me that was a pretty big deal um, so I'm, I'm practicing this and it feels really good. It feels like a great move. Um, I did the same thing with Amy Brangwin uh, with the documentary we were working on, which was uh, kind of, we were dubbing it as a collaboration between Change the Future and Dearest Lovely Human, which is a project that Amy set up a year or two ago, um, really trying to foster more gratitude in, in humanity, in society, in individuals. What can we be more uh, grateful for? And how can we express it in a creative way? Um, and so this kind of turned into a documentary sort of exploring gratefulness and collaboration and, and communities that are really thriving. Um, I won't lie, it's definitely inspired a new project that I'm now involved in with Charlie but I feel like that's kind of returning back to familiar ground because Change the Future first formed out of Charlie and I wanting to make a documentary called Schools of Thought so this feels really like a, a new direction for Change the Future and in a way I've kind of been exploring the termination of Change the Future or the re-evaluation of it and this for me is about the biggest disruption ever sort of work-wise, project-wise because Change the Future is sort of the vehicle for all of the change that I've wanted to make in the world, all the impacts that I've wanted to sort of have. Um, so 
I don't know where exactly this is going to go, but we've had one get together already and we've explored what's been working in Change the Future well, what's felt good, rewarding, fulfilling, and what's been actually really annoying or frustrating and, and really not worked in our collaboration in Change the Future over the last few years. Um, so we need to have one more of these conversations for the people who couldn't make it last time. Um, and then after that, I don't know what will happen, but maybe we'll create Change the Future version 2 or an entirely different organisation or change the way we work. But so there's been a lot of disruption with uh, trying new things and not just uh, sitting in a familiar, comfortable place. Disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream.